Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Let's follow Johnny to see what we can do to help him get his voice back. You're just gonna run right through the drowners, aren't you? Hmm. Would drowners try to attack Johnny? Apparently not. Okay, now Johnny runs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, I always forget. What are drowners? They're necrophages, right? Yeah, okay. Put some necrophage oil on. Um, oh, I've actually still got necrophage oil. Alright. In that case, we're good. Watch out! Oh yeah, somebody told me that you can uh, you can kill the bees using Igni, which I've done before, but stay close to me. After doing that, you can apparently, um, I think, loot what's left. Yeah, there we go. You can loot what's left behind and get honeycomb. Three of them, which is actually quite a bit, and apparently it's actually worth a decent amount. Just gotta wait a couple seconds. I'm Geralt, the horrible beekeeper. I kill all my bees. Very unsustainable, this business. So yeah, exactly how much is honeycomb worth? I'm curious. Ooh, each one is worth 20, and this whole stack that I have here is 140. That is actually pretty good. I probably should burn any, uh, any beehives that I find. Is there anything more annoying than an NPC that doesn't run quite as fast as you? This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. <laughs> it's so excited. here. Uh. Did that just fly away from the nest where I'm going? Looks disturbingly dragony. Oh, harpies. Wow, there's a lot of flying things right here. There's birds, harpies, and a dra draconid? They're called draconids, right? Yeah, draconid. I like the attention to detail here, too. You can see that this, uh, this little walkway here, the middle section has fallen off. Which is the section that was down there. Alright, come on, harpies. Mm, what is a harpy? Definitely not a necrophage. Uh, cursed? No. Hybrid? It's a hybrid. Can't even remember the last time I used hybrid oil.
Now, you piece of filth. Yeah, I'm really worried about that dragon. It, it's just going around in a circle and it could come back at any time. Sealed bottle. How did your voice end up in a bottle? Maybe he meant this bottle. I kind of want to go fight the Draconid and try to see what its level is. However, directly behind me is a blaze of power at the top of that peak. Let's go. Come on, Geralt, you can do it. I suppose not having any shoes probably doesn't help with the grip. Ooh. There's a cave here. Hmm. Let's check out the cave first. Hmm. Something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? Definitely creatures in here. Or maybe they're above me. Oh. Wait a minute. Have I been here before? Is this the... I, I could have sworn. I've already gotten the place of power. I've already been here, haven't I? This is the... Yeah. I've already looted these chests. This is where I fought, fought that, uh, my first vampire. Remember I came all the way to the end and I was like, I don't know how to get out of here. Well, now I just open it from the other end. Well, never mind. Oh god, please don't be too much of a drop. Okay, we're good. Whew. Where's the Draconid? It's gone. Alright then. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life! Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? I'm really curious, yeah, about the bottle and how it lost its voice. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. 
Then I went to the village, because word has it the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, A smudger! A smudger! And sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. <laughs> Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. Do they see and hear all that happens in the mire? Hmm. I don't suppose they can maybe see through or control small creatures like birds or maybe rats? <clears throat> Look for the ear. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me! An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. No, oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. You're not going to try to run through the drowners again, are you? <laughs> All right, come on. I've got this. Let me put some more oil on. Damn it. Bolt with bait. Hmm. 
I haven't really been paying attention to my different types of bolts, like the tracking bolt. Plus 100 armor piercing. I don't get the with bait part though. Bait for what? Oh, it apparently it's worth like a bajillion. Look at that. It says each one is worth 86 and total 860. Holy crap. Is it that good? Whoa. Five tracking bolts is worth 430? I've got like a fortune in arrows just in my inventory apparently. Johnny, could you please run faster, dear god? The 33 thieves thought they drove the throne throughout Thursday! <laughs> Can I just, like, push him with Ard? No, I can't even cast it. Dang it. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tail. Yo. Got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Yeah, she's obviously hiding. Uh, Gran is obviously hiding so much, but I don't think she's like... Um, evil or anything like that. I think she's being put in a hard place. I think the crones are controlling her or threatening her or something. Can you take me to the crones? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. I like Johnny. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely. With power o'er all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I get the feeling that um, asking general questions right now is not... Uh, I think their patience is short. Let's just get straight to the point. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. 
Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Downwarren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Downwarren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now, our servant will bring you the dagger. Hmm, do we have to... S are we gonna make a blood pact? Fine. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, your mistress, right, on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger, for you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is, the dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear. Stone nose, stone ears. And now I'm just gonna loot this place. <laughs> Surely that won't anger the ladies of the wood, right? Okay, so what is this dagger about? I thought it was going to be some sort of a blood pact thing, but it's actually just, um... Hmm... Is it a weapon or is it a quest item? Ah, it's a quest item. Okay, it's just needed for... something. Probably shouldn't be down here. Then <laughs> I just burned this whole place up. Uh, okay, they've been sacrificing things here, obviously. Hmm, looks like chicken cages. Or cages for some other small animals. I see lots of blood here too, so I think maybe they've been mostly sacrificing animals. 
But there are skeletons next to the altar, too, so... Ugh. And that's... <laughs> that's a body. A recent body. I'm gonna get the hell out of here now. This place creeps me out. <laughs> Witcher. Witcher is not quite the devil's youth thought. And my evening with a vampire. Ooh, sounds like Twilight. So where's Down Warren? 240 steps away, so I guess that's not too far. No, that's pretty freaking close. Come on, Roach. Haven't seen you in a while. Let's go. Faster. to see. Let's pass some time. Oh, I think I remember seeing... Excuse me? I think I remember seeing this place in one of the gameplay trailers for this game as well. Yeah, I think I know where this, where this leads, actually. I think this leads to a really interesting quest. The inhabitants of the villages of Downwarren and Lindenvale are hereby ordered to report to the Nilfgaardian Army Group Center Camp to perform labor for the Empire. Those caught evading their duties shall be flogged. Hmm. Well, I'm surprised that those found shirking their duties are not just outright killed. Still, though, that's got to be a hot issue for this, uh, this village. I'm sure nobody wants to do that. I'm sure nobody wants to help the black ones. I just tried to punch the notice board, don't worry about it. Contract Swamp Thing, ooh, that sounds cool. Looks like that's the only actual quest. Um, they're pretty far away, too, 360. Yeah, all the way over there. Well, it's probably in the bog, so I guess I might as well do that when I come back. Whenever I've defeated the Thing of Downward and I come back with the, uh, the fee to put on the altar. The payment. Greetings. Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps, <laughs> if you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. 
just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied, all fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Hmm. I know he said just the essentials, but let's get some more details. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Illick. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Granddad told me a dragon nested in the hills once upon a time. Then along came a knight in shining armor. George were his name. Set right to work and slish, slash, slew the besotted beast. Sadly, he died of his wounds soon after. Out of gratitude, our forebears built him a tomb. It stands in the caves to this day. A knight like George. We could use one now. Hmm. A tomb in the caves. I wonder if there are actually caves around here and if I'll actually find that tomb. That'd be an incredible, like, awesome little detail to find. Just some random villager telling a story that actually, you know, about an actual thing that really exists in the world. That'd be super cool. That'd be an amazing attention to detail. Sorry. It looks like somebody sells stuff here. Merchant. Okay, I could really use a merchant. And also, damn, you're dirty. Milk. Freshly curdled milk. Eggs straight from the coop. Nary a trace of shit on them. <laughs> Barely a trace of shit on them. Yay. Uh, let's see what you've got. Show me what you sell. Ah, uh, yeah, he doesn't have much money, he doesn't have much of anything. Let's at least just sell some of my armor, I guess. Let's sell some of the heavy crap. And they're out of money. Alright, that'll have to do. So long. Uh, at least it's enough to make it so I can pick up some more items before I get overburdened. Okay, let's go. Let's go examine. <gasps> Sheep! Bah! Can I pet them? Hey, wait a minute. What if I use Axie on one of them? It's, it's a good sign. It's not bad. Don't worry. Nah, it doesn't do anything.
Not so fast, Roach. Oh. Everything just got a whole hell of a lot darker. Also, there's a body in the road right there. What happened to you? Fang bites. Oh, it doesn't stay lit because it's raining. Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. Yep, this is the quest I was thinking of from the videos. The powers that protect me. They sense whence you come. And that is a werewolf. Werewolves are hybrids. No, cursed ones. Right? Yeah, okay. Do I have cursed oil? Mm-hmm. It is healing somehow. Alright, that's not good. I can't let up. There we go. Who are you? Hmm, magic. A place of power. If I remember right, this quest is actually pretty sad. Let's go ahead and spend my character, uh, my skill point. Yeah, I've still got two more points to put into oil preparation, so let's go put it into that. from the bits an enhanced thunderbolt you can find po oh my god you can find enhanced potions not just enhanced oils thunderbolt is like one of my favorite potions cubrith I think that's an alchemy ingredient Hold on, I want to see if I can actually make that right now. Yes, pinning formulas, thank you so much. Enhanced Thunderbolt, I can! <gasps> oh my god. So let's see, uh, extended duration. Okay, so I guess it does, it increases my damage by the same amount, I guess, but the duration is longer. Cool, that's still really good. Yep, 
An enhanced Thunderbolt. Ooh, it's also got four uses. Is that because of because it's enhanced? Or is that something else? Hmm. Here we go. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? I need more information before I make any sort of decision. Who are you? I abandoned my circle, where I kept the balance. The crones killed me. Cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circling Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows, helplessly sliding or rusting. Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. I was attacked. This is my prison. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await. And my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters. Killed my body. Now my soul they hunt. For I defy them. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here. In fetters of magic, I wandered endlessly. A labyrinth of thieves, the children. I know all. I know what to witness them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can be a gear. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Hmm. I want more. I still want more information first. The crones. What do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. You cannot hide. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules to our ceremony. They shall all die. Let them be saved. That is not very concrete information, I'm afraid. Um, but you know what? Given how shady everything was with the Ladies of the Wood and Gran and the kids, I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna help you. If you can save the orphans from the meadow, I'll help you. I will fight them, free them, open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape, a rite you must perform. With the black of raven feathers, the white of my bones, and the swift steed, a bear wild and free. In meadows pasture cold, dark as a bottomless well, black as the depths of night. Such a beast, no other. Gather these and bring them here. Got some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me about. 
Sounds like it's actually going to take over the horse. Where will I find your remains? My bones. They lie in a solitary mound nearby, due west. I'll gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the Hillamic's depths, to the tree's rotten heart. Pierce my heart. Let blood flow to be born again. I must first be consumed. Go now and return through the passage I have opened. I'm all too glad to be out of there. Jesus. Hold on. What is it under? I accidentally switched quests. Here we go. Wow, it's actually a level 5 quest. That's really, really low. Gotta find the bones, which are pretty close. I really hope I don't regret freeing this thing, because I can just imagine it's lying to me, and I perform this right. I give it this steed, and it gallops away. <laughs> towards the children to save them, but all it does is massacre them. God, I really hope not, but... I mean, really, who do I trust more? All the shady things going on at, at the bog? Or this apparently cursed creature? It's hard to say. Well, I guess we'll probably find out in the next episode, because I'm ending on kind of a cliffhanger. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon. Goodbye.